my god oh my ass is wet that came above the seat what's up youtube average jeepers here today we're going to be installing a snorkel on this red cherokee there's our 57 dollars ebay snorkel kit actually i think he bought this one on amazon prime either way same price same product as you can see we've already marked out the holes Cheap stuff for rich people and he is uh, removing the fender inner liner, whatever the hell you want to call it. But here is your uh, here's your template it comes with. Piece of crap cardboard thing that just roll up on you. But just for those of you who don't know, this thing will sit back here like so. And the top sits flush down this line. And it'll give you your marks for where you drill for the four bolt holes that go right there. And... Once he gets this removed, we're going to start doing some drilling and some cutting. Okay, so here are the parts that came with our kit. We have the top piece to the snorkel. The actual snorkel piece that sits outside. And this is the tube that connects to your intake. And there's another piece around here somewhere that mounts to your intake box. I'm not sure where that's at right now. but It's on the back of that. We'll, we'll get you up. Oh, there it is over there. Right there. That's the piece. And uh, what you have here is you have your black ring that holds your top piece to this piece so that it's nice and pretty and not shiny. These two pieces right here hold to your tube, which holds to that piece that's over there, and to the part coming out of the snorkel. You have your four studs. Actually, they sent us five, uh, one extra one, five extra an extra washer and nut also but the way this works is you get an allen allen key and she'll flip that thing over for me all four of these studs are going to insert in here and then once we drill our holes out we'll stick the washer and the lock nut on the back side through these holes okay so we're drilling out all four of the holes here the next thing we're going to do is run to the store and get a hole saw so we can cut the other piece. At all. What? Drilling a hole into your fender. Eh, be alright. Quit being a pussy. You're going to have a snorkel. This thing's going to be badass. No, a scratch. Yeah. You tell folks that he is not taking this off road yet, but the day is coming. Come on, baby. Okay, so now what we've done here to get our mark here is if you look at where this thing sits. It's pretty much flush on the back side with those two. So we took this ring right here. It's big enough to fit like that. Just kind of lined it up. It fits like that. So we just stuck it here and drew us a circle. See, we lined it up about level with the other back two circles. And, uh, yeah, we're going to cut that bad boy out. All right, so we were going to go to the store and get a Sawzall. But Old saw. what did I say? Sawzall. We're going to go and get a hole saw, but the man here seems to think that he can make it work without one, so I've we're put him in charge. We're going to get the right. We're going to cut it out, a couple holes with this, and we'll cut it out with a sawzall. So, let's see how this goes.
plan is just to keep going around until we have a hole. Pretty much. Be right there. Okay, so now that we have uh, kind of destroyed this with a hole saw, got a couple lines. We're just gonna cut along those lines and make our circle with a sawzall. So as you can see here, not a perfect hole, but the way it goes in, never even notice. Take two. Boom. Boom. So there we go. The yeah, snorkel tube it. is installed. Sitting like we want it. Yeah. Take two. Boom. Boom. So there we go. The yeah, snorkel tube it. is installed. Sitting like we want it. Oh yeah. Okay, so now that we have this all drilled out, this thing fits. Before we can mount it, we need to get this plate mounted. So what we're gonna do we're going to stick this on. Like so. This piece is going to go back here. As you can see, it has three bolt holes right there. And then you have to mount this to your pillar. So we're just going to stick this on there. Kind of hold it in place. And, uh. We'll get this bad boy mounted. We're gonna make a little mark. And then take that off and screw this to it. And as you can see on this, that comes with this code on the back. I wasn't really sure what it meant, so I did a little bit of internet research. And it actually stands for Super Jeep XJ. Always awesome. I think I changed my mind, man. I don't want to snorkel anymore. Well, you can ride around fucking holes in the thing, then. <laughs> that came off quick. That was, right. a, that was already there, by the way. Yeah. Okay, so... This is what they provide you with rivets for. Rivets are kind of pain in the ass, some of you don't have a rivet gun. Um, we're just gonna put some sharp screws in there and let it ride. Oddly enough, these are the same screws that are holding in my floor pans. Yeah, well, they're good screws. You can buy a box of 200 of them at Home Depot for six bucks. These are sharp points. They're not even self tappers. So 
So the good thing about your friends trying to start up a YouTube channel is you bring your Jeep over and they do all the work because they want to be on camera. I like this. That's all right because I permanently marked your truck with sharp. Okay, so now that we have this mounted, we're ready to install this piece. Um, and we're going to slide it through like this. This thing lines up perfect because, uh, you know, we took our time and figured out where we wanted to mark it. So, you take your black screws so that they don't visibly stick out like, like, like an eyesore. Like the rest of the Jeep. Like the silver ones that we just installed on the other side of this. People with doors and mirrors, they tend to get in your way. And we will tighten those and make sure they're tight with an actual socket here shortly. But you're recording. Mmm, look at all that oil. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that you have the back piece mounted, and this is sitting where it's gonna sit, you can go ahead and bolt the four studs right here. And uh, so we're gonna get these all started, and then we're gonna go find the right size wrench. Oh, bed right there. And we're gonna let, let the Jeep owner himself tighten these bolts down. Oh. So we got all the bolts here tightened down. That part's good to go. These bolts have been snug down with a wrench. And we're gonna go ahead and install this, and then we're done with the outside part. You want it facing like this, you want it facing like this. I don't care. If you face it like this, water might spray in off the tires. I personally have mine facing like this. What direction would you like to face it? That's fine. All right, so we're gonna take the clamp. It comes with the black clamp for up here in our $57 eBay kit. And then we're just going to snug this down. And that's going to be about it for the top. Okay, so as you can see, we have our outside completely done. So now, moving on to where it actually hooks up. Because we want it to actually function and not just look like it has a snorkel. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come in here. You're going to have to remove the air box. And... Uh, we're gonna have to pull the bottom oil piece. Oil. We're gonna have to pull the bottom God. piece out, which has, has oil all over it. And uh, yeah, so we're about to snatch that out real quick. As you can see, it's got three bolts holding it in there, two right here, one up there. Okay, so now that we have the air box removed, this piece right here goes over that. But as you can see, that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a sawzall. We're going to cut this down so this will sit flush on this dirty ass air box that he has. piece right here we'll slide over that like so so we may end up having to cut a little bit more off of it to get it to fit like we want it to so we'll probably just go ahead and cut it about so much
whenever you install this right here over here what you're going to want to do is because there's no way this is going to make an actual waterproof seal you want to go get some silicone black silicone something of that sorts and glue it to it and then i'm going to run a bunch of screws in this to hold it to it all right so we cut down the air box as you can see we actually had to go in a little bit more and just get it as flush as we could so that way that'll seat in there like that but as you can see it still doesn't really seat 100 percent so i'm gonna throw some silicone in there and as john said earlier we're gonna screw it down real good see if we can get this thing watertight just gonna apply a generous layer here of just regular old black silicone very generous because we don't want this to leak because all we have here in Florida is water you guys up north probably call them mud puddles all right so now we have our silicone on there these are the six dollar screws I was talking about earlier they work really good for this stuff we're good for everything from patching floor pans to Screwing in air boxes. As you can see we got a top notch workbench out here. Yeah, another Cherokee. We got more shop towels. Yeah. We are not scared to use the screws. Well, I'm not anyways. <laughs> so one on the bottom for good measure. All right, now that we have this screwed to it, we're gonna add a little bit more silicone around all the edges, probably around the edges inside, uh, at least the top, because like I said, all we have here in Florida is water, and we wanna make sure this thing is sealed. here well, just gotta admit it sometimes and just get it on your hand just admit the feet might not look that pretty but uh this bad boy is gonna keep the water out an ugly snorkel is a lot better than a window in your block
and should be good to go there and we'll find some black spray paint at least spray paint those silver screws okay so move on. now that we have that piece installed got our silver screw spray paint so I didn't look as bad we're gonna set this back in here so we can figure out where you have to drill it and here's the stud for that so you figure it's gonna go right down there we're gonna make a mark and we're gonna drill it out See down in yeah, there? Yeah, that's fine. Well, you can't really see the mark. It's that little half circle right there. Just draw it with your finger in oil. <laughs> it's pretty much what's going to have to happen. But we're going to cut out from about here, round about like that. It does. Yeah, you got oil everywhere. The whole thing is just going to go up in flames. It's all coming off the whole So, saw. a little note here this could be done a lot faster with a bigger hole saw, but this is just what we had laying around. And Not the prettiest hole, but it's gonna work. Uh, if you want, you can go buy you the right size hole saw. We're gonna install this box back in here, like so. And then if you'll look down under here, you can see where it sticks out. And what we're gonna do is we're going to connect this flex tube from here over to the snorkel piece right here uh, but first we're gonna go ahead and finish putting the top back together one thing so you do want to take is note of securely. is if you look right here these things have rubber grommets for your bolts but you do have a hole right here and you have a hole in that back corner so we're gonna go ahead and fill those with silicone as well that way you have a sealed system for the snorkel Okay folks, now that we have our air box back together with our tube going down and the whole filter and everything's installed, all your hoses put back on. If you unplug this to drill the hole like I did, don't forget to plug that in. You damn sure want your auxiliary fan running. Uh, last piece that we have is our flex tube under here. And as you can see, it mounts right there to where the snorkel comes through. It's gonna get mounted right here to this piece and push it around over here up like this and then once that's done we will install the fender flare piece back in and you are done your Jeep Cherokee now has a snorkel on it that is fully functional if you like this video and it was helpful at all please remember to like and subscribe thanks XJ life baby
my God. Oh, my ass is wet. That came above the seat. XJ like.